What's up everybody? Tony here with the Lab Mets channel. Just going to do a real quick uh, review and walk through and talk about why I like these little 7 inch 30 or $40 tablets that you can get from Amazon. Um, what you can do with them and real quick walk through of how to get the Play Store on them, how to set it up and get start getting apps, make it look like an Android tablet. So for 40 bucks, this little guy can become an Android tablet and is awesome. So I'm going to jump back to the PC. There's a few files that we're going to download real quick, and then uh, we're going to get into this. All right, so before you get started on the Kindle, we're going to come here to the computer. I highly recommend you get a micro SD card. These things don't have very much memory on them, and if you're going to download anything on it, get a micro SD card. It'll make your life easier. Same with getting this whole setup process done and started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the Internet, to the uh, APK Mirror, great site for... Uh, reputable downloads for APKs. They're all good and verified. So we're going to come down here. There's four that we're going to have to download. Links will be in the description for all of them. So the first one's going to be the account manager. Second is going to be the Google services framework. Third, the Google Play services. And the fourth one is the actual Google Play store. I highly recommend downloading the ones that I have linked below because these are all for Android 5.1. And if you try and use the newer ones, this process may not work. This is a brand new uh, tablet. It arrived from Amazon today, June 14, 2018. So as of today, this process works. So let's jump over to the overhead, look at the tablet, and uh, get everything going now that we have these files on the uh, SD card ready to go. Now that you got your tablet, brand new like I said we just bought this guy today I already did go ahead and open it because my son of course couldn't wait to see what it actually looked like like it's gonna be some sort of special something or another but it's uh, another Kindle so we'll go ahead and take out all of the crap get the actual tablet like I said it hasn't even been opened yet it's still sealed in its little packaging alright so we'll set that down get all the boxing out of the way and then we've got our micro SD card, we've got a charger, this is really all you need for the tablet, charger, tablet, micro SD card, good to go. Alright, but a sat aside, we're going to sit here and we're going to actually turn this guy on and do some stuff to it. Like I said, brand new fire, setting it up for the very first time. Let it load, here we go. Okay, choose our language. English, of course. Oh, let's find my Wi-Fi. Go ahead and connect to that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and connect to the internet. Do to do. It's gonna load, it's gonna look at some updates probably. I think there'll probably be an update or two. Maybe, don't know. Alright. Am I Tony? I am indeed. So we'll go ahead and just click. Yep, that's me. Fetching in details. No, do not restore. We're going to turn off the backup. The rest of the three, I go ahead and leave on. Not going to do any of the profiles just to make this a little bit easier. Same with the social stuff. We're just going to continue on past all this. I do sign into my fires. A lot of people don't. It makes it easier to get rid of the ads just because they won't be there if you do that. But, ah, whatever. We're going to exit the Alexa thing because we're not actually going to use it. All right, so once you get to the home screen, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the App Store, search. We're going to type ES search. We are going to go ahead and do this ES file manager here. This is what I recommend. It is the best. A lot of people have reported that this tutorial or these steps won't quite work very well. I've used ES every time. Works flawlessly. So we're going to go ahead and download that. 
And if you notice, yes, in the lock screen currently, when I click it, ooh, I don't have ads. I don't know why I don't have ads. You know what? I uh, got on chat and I talked to the people, support people, about my other three candles because they're starting to slow down because of the ads. And I know that that's a way to get them removed, talking to the chat people. And uh, I talked to them about doing that after this one was ordered. I wonder if they removed my ads from this one anyways. Because there's no ads. That's funny. But I'm okay with that. So... I can't show you the process to remove the ads on this guy. All right, so once you get a yes installed, go ahead and load it up. Go to the SD card. I created a folder on my SD card, add Google. So that's where all my documents are gonna be. These are the ones that you're gonna need. So the first one will be the one that's called com.google.android.gsf.login, and then it'll have a bunch of version number. But that is the first one that you're gonna wanna install. When you click install for the first time, you will get a pop-up warning, the installation is blocked. Just go to settings, go over here, unknown app sources, okay, good. While you're in the settings and over here, I like to go to the device options, come down here, tap on a serial number until the developer options pop up. Go ahead and open this. Scroll down a little bit until you get to window scale and animation. Turn this to 0.5 on all of these here helps speed it up a lot of, little bit. And the last thing that I also like to do on these is turn off the don't keep the activities. That way when you leave an app it will automatically shut it down. Go ahead and swipe out of there and there. We will come back to ES File Explorer. Alright, exit this. Just another one of their little ads. And we'll do it again. Hit install here hit the install button install this one real quick this is the first of the four like I said this is the Google account manager done come over here go back we're gonna do the second one pesky ads install that that's gonna be the uh, Google services framework do that these first two ones as you can see are done really fast this Google services the Google Play services, this here one that we're about to do, this one takes a little while. So once you hit it, just let it sit. It'll take a minute, but it will finish eventually. I notice as I'm sitting here waiting, and now that it's actually finished, there's a perfect picture of my camera right there. It's like a mirror. There it is. Right there. That's the camera. All right, we're gonna hit done now that that's done. Last one, you're gonna install the Play Store itself. This one will also take a little minute. So we'll click install, come down and hit install, and let that one roll for a minute. Alright, once the Play Store says that it is installed, you're going to want to go ahead and hit Done. You can go ahead and go to the Home menu at this point, and we were going to go ahead and turn the tablet off and back on. Alright, so once you have restarted the tablet, you'll have these two new icons here, Google Play Settings and the Google Play Store. Go ahead and click on the Google Play Store, and it should ask you to go ahead and log in, just like this. Sometimes the first time you click on the icon, it will exit you. Just go ahead and click on it again. It's happened to me on pretty much every device that I've done it on. The first time you click on the store, it kicks you out. But then, just click on it again. It'll come right back. Alright, so once you do that, get all signed in. Accept the little service terms. Alright, once you're signed in and you go to the Play Store, to make it look like an Android, get Nova Launcher. Just type Nova, 
download Nova Launcher if you uh, purchase for Prime. I love Nova Launcher, so I use it on like every Android device, so I pay for the Prime as well. Go ahead and install these apps. Oops, I forgot to let it go. Install, install. Go ahead and install those two guys. And then while we're, oh, you know what, while we're waiting on those, we're going to go back to the Play Store. I hate the regular browser, so I am a stickler for Chrome. So we're going to install Chrome. So I've heard of people getting this error. We're going to go ahead and cancel all of these updates. Make sure the Kindle itself is fully up to date. Go to settings, device options, and system updates. Let's take a look what we have here. We are highly out of date. That is definitely true. We're going to go ahead and update this to the latest OS, and then we'll come back. So we're back. We got all these updates done and out of the way. But uh, anyways, did all the updates. The Play Store still works through the updates, so that's awesome for everybody who wanted, who would be interested in that. If you do the updates, they will still work. Now let's go in here. As you noticed, Chrome was installed, so it looks like the installs are working. Looks like everything's been updated correctly. There it goes. It's installing. I'm going to go ahead and install the other one for Prime Nova. Like I was saying, I'm a big fan of the Nova launcher, so I own them and I enjoy using them. Alright, so those are getting installed. Like I said, I already had Google Chrome installed. Chrome is going to be needed for this next part. You can use the Silk browser that comes with um, the Fire tablet, but I... I not a fan of it. Turn that off. Continue. No thanks. Okay. We're just going to come up here. We're going to do a quick search for launcher hijack. This is what's going to allow us to really make this a um, Android tablet. So it'll be the first link nine times out of ten actually pretty much ten out of ten I've never had it not be the first link once you get to the website on XDA you're going to want to click the little find the latest release here it'll take you here download oh not that link oh no 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 download the top one there I use ES downloader always it just seems to work better for me and uh, some people report having an install button problem. Um, I've never had that using the ES. So I'll go ahead and install this. It did. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Launcher hijack. So we're going to go ahead and set Nova as our launcher. We can come back over here, go to settings, go all the way down here to accessibility, scroll all the way down to the bottom, turn Nova launchers on, click OK back, turn the detect button on, hit OK. All steps were done correctly. When you hit the home button, it'll take you to Nova. Hit skip. Bam. Android tablet. There you go. Hit home button. will always bring you back to your Android. It might flash like that every now and then, but for the most part, you're getting your Android. Turn it off. Turn it back on. You got an Android tablet. Google Play Store, everything works. Like I said, so yeah, awesome. Much better. All right, so there you have it. There's your little way to turn this little $40 Amazon tablet into a pretty nice little Android tablet. And I say that it works pretty well. Uh, I like the fact that this one doesn't have ads right now. I don't know why that I didn't get one with ads. Thanks, Amazon. Appreciate it. But... I should get one tomorrow that will have ads that will allow me to sit down and show you how to do that to part of this uh, tutorial. That way you wouldn't have ads on the tablet. And then you pretty much have an Android tablet. No rooting, no hacking, easy, simple, easy way to do it. So give it a thumbs up, go ahead and share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. 
And uh, I'll catch you later. See you at the next one. Peace.